for this, we can just um, fasten up the whole thing. Let me show you how. Let's first disconnect here and disconnect from route one. Close secure CRT. Take our batch file. Copy the line. <clears throat> so let me do this. Paste it. I will just paste it for, for time reason, just for five machines. The ping command you need also between every single script file. And we can modify the um, the timeout here. I just took a quarter of a second, 250 milliseconds. So that when the first tab has been opened up, the it waits five seconds, opens the second tab, then it just waits 250 milliseconds, opens the third tab, and so on. So, um, of course, we have to change the name of the scripts. To one, two, three, four, five. Save the batch file. Double check if secure CRT isn't open up. Okay, it's closed. And start it. As you can see, secure CRT opens up, connects to router one. Router two, router three, router five. And as you can see, we are locked onto router one, router two, router three, and router five. That's what we want to accomplish here. So uh, finally, I will show you my completes, my complete batch file. I got it here. It's the same as we developed here, just with uh, every single every single device. Um, of course, I got to change this one here to a host of my LAN segment. I will use the replace feature here, 192.3.4. Replace it with 192.168.186.1.50. Uh, replace them all. And so that's it. So, and right at the back here, we, you can see I just put the script names into here, R1, R2, R3, and so on, to up to switch 4. So let me show you how the script's working. Uh, or let's say the batch file. <laughs> I just also say script, but the batch file is firing up the, uh, the script files. So make sure that secure CRT, okay, it's closed. And I will just hit enter. Secure CRT opens up, router one is connected. Then the others should follow. Two, three, four, five, switch one, two, three, four. And we are connected to every single device of the topology. Now I think that's quite awesome because it saves you a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of time. And um, yeah, of course, when, when you now, when you make your session and um, you can see you just changed the name into RSREC15. When you have to set up a new session, maybe with, um, let's say, RSREC23, for example. Then, of course, when using a Notepad++ here, again, search for files. You have to search for routing switching REC15. Not the R1 here, that's very important. Just for the REC ID, RSREC15. We have to search for this, for, for the old REC number, replace it with, with the new REC number, 23 for example. Hit replace them all and all of your 10 scripts, uh, the login name of all of your 10 scripts is replaced. So if you want to um, get further knowledge of uh, scripting within secure CRT, then you can go to the to the website of the um, of the developers. Just go into Google and hit uh, Van Dyke Software, and you can also add um, scripting here, and that should point you to VanDykeSoftware.com with Van Dyke Software Scripting Essentials. 
And there is a PDF file you can view or download. And um, let's do this here. And there it is, the user's guide for scripting essentials, uh, scripting essentials within Secure CRT. They covered uh, really a ton of stuff here. And it's creating scripts, launching scripts, remote machines, and whatever you want to do, you can do this with the uh, VBS scripts. And um, so good for now. I hope you enjoyed it and um, feel free to comment on that video or to comment on my uh, on my blog which is um, chasing chasing my CCIE dot wordpress dot com I will put the video up here and um, yeah thanks for watching hi everybody again um, welcome to the third part of our scripting challenge. Um, I just fixed the <laughs> I just fixed the problem. It's an it's quite an easy one. It's it's just late and the day was long. So um, to ping to a host that won't give you any response and even not and also not a uh, ICMP unreachable because an ICMP unreachable is also an answer. So our um, our uh, timeout here, which is five seconds, will not work. So just choose a, a free IP address from a LAN from a LAN segment. Um, my LAN segment is 192.168.1, and I just choose the IP address dot fifty. It's dot fifty doesn't exist within my network, so it definitely I won't get any IP uh, ICMP unreachable message. And um, nor a uh, host will answer to this. Um, we can just check that. Ping 192.168.1.50. And as you can see, ping is running. No answer. Everything's fine. So let's save this batch file here. And um, start it up again. We're just starting it. Secure CRT opens up. It logs on to router one. In the background, as you as you could see, um, the ping was running and waiting for five seconds. Of course, you can choose this value to maybe ten seconds because you got a slow PC or whatever. Um, when Secure CRT is opened up, it it's well it's well it's opened up and you can add the tabs more frequently so you don't you don't have to wait so long um so for the um for the following routers we can just um fasten up the whole thing let me show you how let's first disconnect here and disconnect from route one close secure crt take our batch file copy the line <clears throat> so let me do this. Paste it. I will just paste it for for time reasons, just for five machines. 